Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, and good night, and welcome to the Friday stream. It's finally the Friday stream, even though it's the third stream in the week, and it's only Friday, so even it's messing with me as well. <clears throat> How are we all doing? And thank you for the AV check, which I, I'm assuming is 10 out of 10. Oh dear. Thought we'd try something new today. Well, new for me anyway. New for you, some of you as well, I suspect. NN Tech, welcome back. Towel, welcome back. TCS Nico, welcome back. Uh, yes, Benji T, I have seen the latest patch notes for My Summer Car Experimental. It has patched my game. I'm not playing it tonight. <laughs> hey, Kelly. You've seen this game, Presley. I've seen, I've had it for a while. The dev sent me, <clears throat> the dev sent me a key for this ages ago like months ago and uh i looked at it and there wasn't really <clears throat> there wasn't really much to it at that point so i didn't actually jump into it i was like mm, i'll wait a little bit until there's more kind of meat on the bone a bit early days so here we are on version 0.4 and uh yeah there's quite a bit in it now and since it's got a bit of, it's got multiplayer as well so i thought Let's try it out with the multiplayer and see how we get on. So uh, I've dragged along somebody from the team who's played it for 260 hours. So I suspect he knows a thing or two about it by now. <laughs> yeah, it is actually quite interesting, I think, now. it's. Do you remember... Um, oh, what's it called? Scrap mechanic. It's got elements of scrap mechanic in it where you can assemble things and you assemble the connections between switches and... But in this, you can go to, like, air intake levels and fuel levels and all kinds of weird stuff. Happy uh, but it has an overarching objective where you're trying to complete missions and rescue people and thrown into the mix is really bad weather now and again, so... It's got some pretty advanced stuff in it by the look of it. So I'm just going to play it on, like, normal level initially. And we'll play it on career, see how we get on. Because the advanced stuff takes quite a bit of learning, apparently. Yeah, it's actually got Kerbal level type stuff going on, I think, Luke. Yeah, very kind of jalopy art style, but we're a bit more lit up. <laughs> uh, NMTech, 31 months, keep up the great work. Thank you, NMTech. Michael Pierce, thank you for 14. Uh, Paboli, it's our two-month anniversary, no card, no flowers, and no chocolates. Well, I'm having a chocolate to celebrate, okay? Kenworth, thanks for two months, and Phoenix, welcome back. Right, let's get um, let's get Jack on, and we'll get into the game. Jack, hello, Captain Jack. I should call you by your official title. Yes, well, we are in the sea today. Yeah, I'll be Admiral Squirrel. You can be Captain Jack. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. <laughs> right, is the game fired up? Yes, it is. Right, so I'll attempt to join. I'll have to blacken the screen for a second. Uh, actually, let's just go on that screen because unfortunately at the moment it shows you like a plain text password and all this kind of thing. So it's a bit naughty like that. Uh, password. And that should be that. You played it before, Davy Quack? Right. Randomize my character. Happy anniversary. So the characters have really, really weird legs. They're like something out of a Lowry painting. There you go. Quite like that, actually. Just click randomize. Okay. Hey. Admiral, Admiral Santa Claus, more like. Admiral Santa Claus. <laughs> I want to be seen when I fall in the water. <laughs> yeah. You'll be seen from the next island over. Right, so uh, so basically, this is our starter area, isn't it? Uh, yes, this is our little cottage. You can pick things up like this telescope here and then Ooh, just wow. throw it. That was in my head. Jack looks amazing, he does. Yeah, have a saucepan. It's not very nice. <laughs> have a, have <laughs> a book on how to sail. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. 
back. All right, let's uh, that, uh, let's turn the light off so we don't get an electric bill. Oh wait, wrong game. <laughs> uh, you didn't turn the outside light off. Actually, I don't know how. Where do you turn that off? Just look at it. Uh, so we've got a weird radio tower and and a giant anchor. A giant anchor, indeed. Everything's very polygonal in this game, isn't it? There's like, just you can see the triangles everywhere. Yeah. Right, ready to Leroy it? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Leroy! Wait. Wow, you went really far. <laughs> right, so if I press the N key, and we've got one mission, which is to transport rig inspectors. Transfer all rig inspectors from the airport to the Clam Company rig. Mark that. Mm. The rig is not far away, but their island is quite far. Wait, where's the inspectors? Oh, do we have to go and get them? Yeah, it's it's really weird. When I zoom out a bit of the map, it has a little red dot pointing off of the left. That's the map, as we know actually it. Actually, just to our right. So we have to discover things. So shall I spawn in the boat that I made earlier and we'll go for it? Yeah, do you want to chuck a couple of chairs on it though? Oh yeah, right. I don't know how many inspectors there'll be. Maybe like two or three. Oh yeah, they're going to have to carry people, aren't we? Right. So this is the boat that I made earlier when I was messing around. Well, it's an extension of the tutorial boat, to be fair. And it's got a couple Might of... i have to extend it further to fill the chairs on. It's got a couple of uh, steering fins and three propeller blades, and it's got two engines inside of it. So I've got two engines in there. Look. Two powerhouses. Um, so we need to put... So if I put seats in the back instead of cargo, we'll have a car, we'll have a seated version rather than a cargo version, because this is more about cargo. Actually, I might put a little lip on the back to stop it stuff falling out as well. So if I... Um, so the way it works is like it's like kind of pieces of Lego, but it makes it a little bit easier with you just drag things along like that, and then you can check your center of mass here like this. Toggle that there, shows you where your center of mass is, and you can of course paint it however you want. So if you choose like red, and then you go paint like that, you can fill it in however you want it to look. So it's kind of cool, but it is it is like Lego. However, when you click on this button here, which is logic, and this is only scratching the surface, if you click logic, it then shows you your logic connection. So here, the, the start button is wired to these two engines, and this is where it gets a bit like scrap mechanic. Whereas this one here, which is the AD axis, so the AD, A and D key, is wired to the uh, rudder on the back, and this one, which is W and S, is wired to the throttle on the engine. So you kind of wire things up that way, but there's there's other components you can wire here, like the one hotkey, the two hotkey. So we could put like, I don't know, um, a big torch on the front and wire it to the one hotkey, and we'd have a active torch. And with the power, you, you can connect the engines to the propellers and things like this. So, But like I say, we're almost at the limit of what I know about this game. Uh, right, so maybe if we can, if you press a tab, it should show you everything that you can build. Uh, so if we put light, maybe. Uh, light, search, light, indicator, light. So you drag that down to your toolbar, and then you click it, and you can then... That's actually quite a big light, isn't it? Should we try a smaller one? An indicator light. That light is massive, Jack. Yep, it is pretty huge. There are some smaller lights that you can get, but they don't shine outwards as brightly. And then you can rotate it like this. So you can put a light like that. It's not let me put it down. Why is it not let me put that down? Uh, it, the the grey band part of it has to be attached to a surface. That's its mounting. Ah, uh, okay. So I need to rotate it. Yeah, and you can uh, put it so that it's sort of facing upwards. And then if you put a um, a throttle lever on the boat, you can connect that to the spotlight and have it actually move because it's got an adjustable. Oh, this should deploy, shouldn't it? Unless it... Oh, does it have to be... And then you rotate it later? Yeah. Ah. Gotcha. So we need to put it basically... That way. And then we need something to rotate it, essentially. <clears throat> um, let me think. So... 
So, did you say there was a... There should be a throttle lab, le a throttle lever. <laughs> throttle lever, yeah. Yeah, just place that somewhere in the cab. That thing's massive. Okay, we'll put the throttle lever on. Do we need a switch then, as well? If you connect that up to the... Uh, yeah, you want to switch to the button to turn the light on and off, of course. Uh, toggle button. We need a toggle button, don't we? And then connect all that to the spotlight. So we put that there, and then go to the logic, switch it back to this, and we should be able to connect the on-off button to that thing. Or not. Rotation and light oh, that's switch. That's the external input. You want to do the smaller dot. Okay. I've done right. You've got it. Yeah, I've got the on-off, but I'm trying to get the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the... Got it. There's a little... I think yeah, once you've once you've done that, if you get the select tool, which is like the little arrow on the top bar pointing, and then you actually click on the throttle lever that you've just placed, and then you want to set the minimum value to minus minus what minus one. You have to hold your push to talk button down a bit longer. Discord's a bit weird. Oh, it's doing that. So minus one to oh crikey, minus one to plus one. Minus one to plus one is fine, yeah. That means you've got both directions of turning. Gotcha. Cool beans. Uh, right, so just to put some seats in the back. Uh, Mr. Marsh, thank you for 201 bits. Thank you very much. Mr. Redco, thank you for 33 months. Train AB with 26. Enjoyed the comeback of TMCN. I uh, can't wait for the next one. I hope you submitted a question. So we want a pilot seat, passenger seat, that's what we want. Go like that, drag it, zoom in. Uh, how many seats do you think? There's me plus two or three inspectors, so as many as you can fit, like four would be. Okay, four seats in the back. Hope that works out. And then we'll save it as, uh, let's see, passenger boat when. And then we'll give it a spawn. Oh man, it's gone dark. Yep. Did you leave the faff with daylight option on or can we not do that in Korea? No, you can't do that when you're in Korea. Great. All right, put the flashlight on then. Right, let's see if this thing actually works. But well, first of all, toggle light. Oh, it's red. pink! Why is it pink? Oh, uh, uh, it's because you uh, <laughs> you placed it red, so it continues to be red. <laughs> no you have to paint the lens to change it to a white light. Dude, we don't want a pink light. That's ridiculous. Let me let me quickly fix that. Um. So if I go to paint and then white and click on the lens. Uh, you have to go to additive paint mode at the top of the color selection. There's a little paintbrush symbol. If you click on that and then change it to additive. Additive paint mode. Oh, there you go. Right, let's try that again. Yeah, additive is for changing like lenses on lights and things like that. Gotcha. Right, let's try that again. Take two. <laughs> Ooh, I jumped too far. <laughs> oh, we went flying. Uh, watch your flying videos. Oh, yeah, I'll be doing more. I've, I've booked some flying next week. I uh, don't know if we're recording next week, but we'll see. Right. So light goes on. That's better. Yep. And then throttle that lever down. There you go. Like a glove. Nice. Then we'll start it. Okay, she's all running back there. Awesome, I'm gonna take a seat. Yeah, I would, I would definitely agree. You should take a seat. <laughs> this boat is way better when it's moving than when it's sat stationary. Oh yeah. 
speedy boy one to the rescue. No, no problem, white land. I hope dries away. What's that little waypoint thing? Is that where we're going? Or the flag? Uh, hang on, let me check the map. These LED lights are so bright. Oh my god. We want to head to the one that's slightly to the right. The little waypoint marker. Yeah, that's the people we've got to pick up. Revival and hero. Thank the you. Twenty-two little minutes. Flag symbol in the circle is the like the final destination. Gotcha. Look, you can go underwater, guys. Watch. How brills that? Connor, Paul, how are you? It seems Renault make boats now. Also, I might need to go to the shop as I completely forgot about snacks. Get on with it quickly, Connor. Thank you, sir. Uh, Don LW, welcome back. DJ Crush with 39 months. Jab gone. Still feels like a lifetime with 14 months. Bria FT with a bullseye. 50 months, Bria. D22 was 32 months gone. I can't answer that one. I don't think it's got torpedoes, unfortunately. <clears throat> Keep up the good work, Dom. Thank you for five months, sir. And walk back, Jack Jack. How far is it to this place? Quite far. So we've got to rescue those dudes and then bring them back to the oil rig. Well, we're, we're picking them up from the airport and taking them to the oil rig because they're rig inspectors. <laughs> so, because we're on career mode, we can't mess with the daylight and weather. No. And we don't, because we're on not advanced mode, we don't worry about fuel levels, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Because you can basically but set the game to more difficult. Do you any money when you were building the boat? Uh, how do I check that? Uh, X escape screen. Doesn't show my money on this game. Oh no, the map screen, M. M, I've got 14,775. That's what I've got. So does that mean we've spent money? So I guess that money is, is shared between both of us. Okay. Mr. Jack Jack. Boom! Five we're years. We're about a third of the way there now. 60 months and a new acorn. Five years up, guys. Jack Jack, thank you very much, sir. That's a long time. 60 months. It doesn't tell us how far this thing is. Let me look at the map. Uh, if you kind of look down a little bit and look kind of directly at it, it should give you a distance. 3.2 kilometers. You like the new acorn, Jack? Jack looks nice. It's very nice. <clears throat> How come it went nighttime so quickly? I don't know. We're um, we're in like the second half of the night now, though. Sorry, I've got two engines, mate, and three propellers. I really can't do much more right now. <laughs> What happens if you strap a jet engine on this thing? Uh, we'll probably take off. Because <laughs> they're quite <laughs> powerful. You can't just put it on like 20% and put hydrofoils on them. You can do, yeah. But because it's such a small boat, it will probably still try and take off. Does it have a concept of a wing that you can generate lift with? Yeah, there are planes, there's flaps, there's wings and all kinds. I can't, bro. The chassis won't take it, bro. The thing will sink if I put four engines on I think the best thing that we need for more speed out of this is a gearbox. But I don't know if you've unlocked that yet. Uh, I don't know either. Because then you can just uh, gear it up so you get more speed out of the props. Like a helicopter. Well, I thought we'd walk before we learned to run, right? Uh, hey man, how you doing? Well, we're not far now. About two thirds. An island for sale has popped up. It's ten grand. What, you can buy an island? 
Yeah, you can buy some of the other islands <laughs> to unlock bigger docks and bigger uh, airports and runway. Oh, uh, okay. That That's enables a... you to build bigger stuff. Well, if we buy helicopters, we don't need a runway, right? Uh, no, but I think you <laughs> you actually you still need to be able to have like a a helicopter build area or like right. a plane build area. Um, so Mr. You need to Brooks, thank you for the host. That has a hangar on it. Looks like the sun's eventually coming back. Yeah, uh, this island doesn't actually have a boat dock. Compliance inspector. I hate compliance inspectors. Let's just leave them alone. <laughs> I think we're just going to have to try and find a really like low uh, cliff face somewhere to hop up on. Mm. I suppose you've got binoculars on you. <laughs> No, you used to be able to right click and you get like a kind of zoom, but it doesn't seem to work now. I think I can hear fireworks outside. A bit early? No, it's November the 5th on Monday, isn't it? So they're probably. We're going to hear a lot of fireworks over the weekend, I imagine. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can get an anchor, Dr. D. Kind of looking to me like the other side of the island. Yeah, I think if we go down this left side, there's a bit of a lower rock. Yeah, I, I can definitely hear fireworks. <clears throat> I don't know if you can make a dock jab gone. I think you have to find them, find the islands that have them. I think the compliance officers should have walked to the uh, very tall peak here and then when they saw us just jump off the side and we'll collect them out of the water. <laughs> yeah. It's one way to pick up inspectors. And if they can't survive that, they don't deserve to be picked up. What's this bit here on our right like? Is that quite low? I don't know. Will they? Do we have to go and physically get them or they will come to us or what? No, we have to go over to them and, and ask them to follow us basically. Ooh, wind farm. You know, I think we're just going to have to look for like a kind of, um, like this bit coming up here on the right. We should be able to get up that. You reckon? Yeah, I think so. I'll give it a try anyway. Oh, no, not the boat. Yeah, I can run this. this. Actually, it's, it's, to me, it sounds like a Chelmsford firework display is going on. It's like a lot of fireworks are going on. Yeah, I think I can hear something in the background. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> like as if there's a big display going on. What a day, how are you doing? Ooh, they got a runway here. Yeah. Normally doing this mission, I think you'd pick them up with a plane or a helicopter. But of course, we aren't that advanced yet. It's no hangar, just a runway. <laughs> there should be a hangar somewhere. Oh, I guess not. There's only two guys, we can collect them both easily. Do you want to save yeah. this somehow? I don't know if it's auto saving. Uh, I can't save it now. Back. Well, I don't you know if it does happen to crash because I don't think the multiplayer is very stable. Right, I'm going to get the. I can't move. Oh, when I clicked save, it froze for a second. That's that's what it was. Uh, e to follow, Q to pick, hold E to hop, pick up. Yeah, you can just. Look. <laughs> yeah, I'm on. Fireman's <laughs> lifted him. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Come with us, compliance officers. Let me just have a quick drink of water there. There we go. <laughs> Let's go. Man, you can run this quick. very light. Yeah, I was going to say. You've got strong legs. Yeah, I've got the man from Intel. I think 
hopping might be quicker. It is. You, you definitely get lower friction when you do that. I uh, hope you go. I'm not bad, Walking Day. Thank you. Just gotta remember where the boat was now. I think it was over this way. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay, let's. Oh, that's a bit far. Let's make sure I can jump on land. Just chuck him off over the cliff. Let's go! <laughs> that's how you rescue people. Okay, now then, how do I put him down? If you look at the seat, you can put him in it. Place. There he is. There we go. <laughs> he Two looks successfully like a pilot, doesn't it? Right, let's get the engine started. And it's right behind us. Oh, the legs are so weird. They're like little stick legs. At least the sea's still calm. Yeah, that's true. I don't trust this boat in a choppy sea. Nice boat. Yeah, you say that, Heyman. Look at the propeller speed. That's amazing. Not when you steer the rudders work. Well. What calls that? See, if you don't like something about the boat, you bring it back in the workshop. You just change the design. And because we're on career mode, we don't have everything unlocked, so we have to, like, get more cash and stuff to unlock more components. The Grumpy Shell, a oh, welcome back. Good evening, Phil213. Yeah, you wait till the weather kicks off, guys. It's a completely different story. More speed. Giddy, this is our, like, very first boat. We're using noob engines. The Strominator, thank you for 17 months. I imagine when you're in, like, a plane or a helicopter and the weather turns bad, that's going to be real nasty. Yeah, they recently added uh, this feature where if you get above a certain height in a storm, you can actually get struck by lightning and it can destroy your plane. Does it have any, like, navigation equipment on board? You can make your own. You can you can create all kinds of navigation systems with the logic stuff. Get altimeters and um, like GPS devices and stuff. So how, how complex is the logic stuff in this? It's got kind of your basic like and and or and not gates and things like that, but then it's got things like PID controllers and um, FX like function um, modules and stuff like that. So you can do proper full-on mathematical equations with it. Leaky, how are you doing? Logic is very complex, I can't get my head around it. That's logic for you. When we're doing logic gates. Back at school. They start off easy enough, it's when you start chaining them all together. And they go, well, if we combine a knot with an and, that's a an nand. And if we chain a bunch of these ands up together, it adds numbers up and you go in. Wait, what? <laughs> How does that work? Reb Rub, how you doing? You had a hard day's work, mint man. Put your feet up. Have a cup of tea. Oh, 
I reckon Whiteland would love the logic stuff in this. Yeah, him and Dre. They could probably build some epic stuff with that logic. Uh, Sveev, thank you for seven months. Good evening to you. Last Strominator, thank you for 17 months. Yeah, we're going to have to build a faster boat than this. Yeah, when we get back to the um, the boat dock, we'll have to have a look at what's available. See if we've got a gearbox or not. Welcome back. The game looks very what's cheaply made, Basil. Um, uh, if we pick that up, we'll get cash. Oh, it's one of them. Yeah, we grab it, we should get some money for that. Oh, a blueprint, numerical inverter, and artificial horizon plus 6,900 in cash. Handy. Very nice. Blueprints, I, what do they do then? They unlock your ability to use the new items in the workshop, right, okay. but in the editor. A numerical inverter sounds like something I want in my life. Yeah. First of your logic equipment. Raskar DK, thank you for 23 months. Wish you a good weekend, and you, sir. MGB, welcome back. And Sparrow will break. You got M&M's, Fox's chocolate chip, and Iron Brew. <laughs> Any sea monsters? You can optionally turn on sharks. Um, you can turn them on or off. Did you have sharks turned on or off? Off. Okay. They've been uh, buffed lately, so they are pretty dangerous. Buff sharks, hey? But presumably that's only a problem if you fall in the water. Well, yeah, of course. But if you're in your boat, it's not so bad. TCS, Nico, thank you for three months. Keep your eye out for those boxes. Yep, I am. Where do we actually pull up on this thing? Uh, there should be a ladder just ahead of us somewhere. I see it. We can fit under that? Yeah, oh, we are. Easy. Might just have to shoulder okay. the guy again. Come with me, sir. Like a right, we just throw him in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey. All right, 10 grand, a linear speed sensor, an altimeter, and a winch. Speed sensor's really handy. So is the winch. Well, an altimeter and a speed sensor, that's the basics of flight right there. Yeah. I stick the speed sensor in everything I own, just because it's so much handier to know how fast you go. There you go. I thought we might need this. Thanks. So I borrowed it from the old rig. <laughs> I'm sure they won't miss it. Wait, was it? Oh, there it is. We should be able to, like, scavenge and then mount that on. <laughs> yeah. Right, where do we have to go now? Back to the uh, thingy. Hey, Mrs. Yeah, Frosty. It's, to our, it's directly west. If you want, you can fast travel there because it's back to the base. Rome, can you have a quick look to see if Games Planet sell this game and if it's cheaper than Steam? Where are we going? West. Yeah. It's that island that we can see right there. That was the standard exit pattern from an oil rig. Totally. Yeah, that was the standard departure right there. You always have to oh, go right around right. one of the legs. I thought ones. not because it's early access. That's cool. Fireworks going off. There's no track limits. Basil Brush. Standard departure. 
You can do some ironing and put the washing on as you're working tomorrow. All right, Mrs. Fusby? Is it me or is it getting a little bit misty? Um, maybe just on the horizon a little. Mm. That doesn't seem that misty to me. Am I the Bob Ross of this game? I've only just, just started playing it, so not Scottish really. Haze. Which side do we want to... Can we go left here? Oh, it's left, I think, yeah, left. So the actual oil rig was quite near, but the pickup point was miles away. Yeah. Well, we're only probably doing about... 10 metres per second, if that. From, are you seriously going to drive over to France to get some food? We get a gearbox and you can adjust the ratio and then you can start going about 30. What, you can mess with the gearbox? Yeah, you can change the ratios on them. And you can put, like, multiple gearboxes in and then have multiple gears, each with different ratios. So you can you can end up ratio, ratioing it up to, like, a massive amount. It's not. Wow. We just bounced <laughs> off a ladder. And continue to bounce off a ladder. Uh, hang on. There you go. Nice. Mission complete. Did you just take the... No, pretty... it should still be there. We've got two here, actually. Can you actually use this on people? Uh, I don't know. You can hang on to it. I guess if it floats, then you won't drown. Didn't even get my ankles wet. I tell a lie. <laughs> Failed. Right, oh, what's our next mission? Transport rig. Oh, we've done that one. How do we get another mission then? Uh, you just have to wait for it to come up. It won't take too long, I don't think. Ah, uh, we don't promote uh, G2A on a Cansable Gamer. We see a hips. Yeah, have a toolbox. Can't throw it very far. But it's a toolbox. <laughs> I imagine it's heavy. I imagine all the spanners are messed up in there now. <laughs> <laughs> James May will be so upset. Let's have a look at my boat. Should, should we? Uh, let's see what we've got here. Oh, uh, your, your life rings in the water now. We've only got one standard engine, so I can't put a bigger engine on it yet. Propulsion. Small propeller and engine is the only thing we've got, so we can't make it quicker. We have got a winch, though. Um, two on-off signals are used to control whether the winch goes up and down. There's a bunch of and, not, number, numerical, verter, on signal, and or. So I guess that means with an OR gate, you could have like a button at one end and a button at the other, and then you can have it activate the same thing and you just press either button, that kind of thing. Yeah, basically. Welcome back. Indicator light. Who, who needs to see your indicators? Uh, that's more for um, telling you that like a system is switched on, like if your landing gear or is down and locked, the light will come. Things like that. It's uh, twenty dollars to buy each linear speed sensor. Fair enough. Well, we've got some cash. Wait, how do we actually buy this? You only need one. Yeah, but how do you actually buy it? Click on the. Oh. I just place it on the ship, maybe. If you place it on it, it'll probably buy it. Can it just go anywhere? Yeah, just chuck it wherever you want. And then you use the select tool again to set it up. Sensor mode, absolute, directional, horizontal, vertical. That's insane. Directional is whichever way the actual like, little um, pointy bit of it is facing. And then obviously the rest is obvious. That's so cool. Yeah. 
there's a lot of switchability and functionality on all the stuff in this game. I'm impressed. So we can have it like basically we can get vector speeds out of this. This is great. We can have one point in at 90 degrees and you could see both components of your speed. That's brilliant. Yeah. That is so good. What else have we got? Uh, fluid port, fluid tank. Take it we don't need to worry about tanks when we're in basic mode? No, but you can use them to contain water, which uh, you can put on like a firefighting boat because you can unlock um, a spray yeah. nozzle. Yeah, that's good. Rudder, or if you want to have like a refuel ship, but again, that's not really needed in normal mode. Large window, narrow window, a narrow angled window. Let's have a look at that. What dials have you got unlocked? It's crazy. Dials. Um, if any at all. No, I think I saw one dial. Hang on. Yeah, under displays, there's one dial. Ah, oh, and you've got the digital display as well. I've got the artificial horizon, the dial, the digital display, and the indicator light. Yeah, the um, the digital display is what I would connect the speed sensor up to. Because it, it, and then you can, um, it's got a number display on it. Hang on. So yeah. if I put the dial and connect it to the speed sensor, will it show me what speed we're doing? Yeah, you can use either the dial or the digital display. I normally just use the digital display because it's better for telling you. And then I use the dial for engine revs or temperature. Yeah, the problem with the digital display is it's quite big. Yeah, it's a two block. You have to place it so that the, um, the plus and the number are at the left. Yeah, there's nowhere really useful to put it unless you put it on the side and then you have to look over to it. What about that bit that's like the the like the triangle bit that's sticking up just in front of the window? You should be able to see that from your seat. The triangle bit that's sticking up just in front of what? In front of your window. It's just behind the spotlight. Do. Get rid of that. You go there. It's annoying. I think I might just rearrange this. Yeah. If we take that switch, though, whichever one that was. That red switch, that was the push button. That was your engine starter, I think. Right, so we've got the uh, value to display comes from that. And the backlight, the on off button goes to the engine. Wait, this has got a backlight on it. Yeah, so that you can light it up to see it in the dark. I'll you have connect to that to hotkey one then. Yeah, another button to turn around. Okay, let's have a look. Why is it always going nighttime when I spawn this boat? This is weird. I don't know. Why don't we have a mission yet? <laughs> it looks good. Oh, yeah, look at that.
Yeah, so now you've got your speed on there. Let's see if the speed will actually work. Uh oh, something's wrong. Can't move. Oh, your engine's off. Oh, I'll send it on. Left up there. There you go. Oh. Yeah. I think you just turned it off. <laughs> no, I need to press the one key to light it. Oh, up. it's you've got you've put a push button, not a toggle button. Hey. Happy oh, a, I see. Yeah, so you're pushing it and it's holding it on, and then that would make sense. I wonder why the engine cut out. Toggle button. Yeah, you can do that in a, in a advanced mode. You can just have a push starter. Logic. Toggle button. That should do it. Yep. Let's see what speed we can get out of this beast. That's better. Yeah, so if I press one now, I get a fully lit up. Noise. Oh, look at that. 10 meters per second. Oh, 11. Oh, yeah, I should do Dr. D. It's a good call. 12 is that what meets meters per second yeah standard measurement on this game so when we you turn can... look how it goes down because our forward velocity is not the same yeah it's actually quite cool oh, we've got a new mission retrieve the oil rig part mick d thank uh, you 34 months i think we need a bigger boat for that oh you reckon it's a massive piece yeah if i remember rightly it's quite a big bit Another island for sales popped up. This one's a hundred grand. Hundred grand? Yeah, it's a bit out of our league. Uh, Kirby, welcome back. Um, well, hmm, I don't have a bigger boat, so we either have to design one or. Man, you're only in a small dock, so I don't know if it's going to make us do a massive boat, surely. Hang on, let me set it as the active mission. Just edit Let's that. see where it is. Oh, it's this one. No, it's... um. There's a piece of the oil rig that's... um. It's kind of broken away. So we've actually got to dive down into the water and get it. <laughs> Great. Same. Yeah, so it, we, it doesn't matter. We don't need a big boat. It's fine. I was getting this one confused with another one. Okay, we've got the cargo version. It's the F, the freight version. <laughs> oh, no, I should have put a boat in the uh, seat in there for you, really, shouldn't I? Hang on. Passenger seat. There we go. Right, you drive, I'll sit in the back. Okay. Talk about mission. So the light should be pointing down automatically now. Yep. If you press one, it'll light up the speed. Yeah, I've done that. Looks like we've got a bit of waves coming on now. Oh yeah, look at this. We've got some waves. Now we're going to find out how bad this thing handles. Yeah, trouble with this is it's flat bottom, so it's going to try and ride over them all. It's 
So it's not showing us a waypoint on this. It's not saying go to the oil rig. Uh, you haven't uh, set it as active, remember, in your I end did. screen. I did. That's the thing. Oh. You're showing me. It's not for me. Oh, no, you've got the old one as active still. You yeah. have to click on the oh, retrieve oil rig. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm being dull. Yeah, I get it. Wow, is that the moon that's lighting us up? That's weird. Uh, oh yeah. Red moon. Well, it's just turning dawn, actually, so... Uh, thanks, Bam Bam. The sun should be somewhere. Dr. Snuggles! Another month, points to dust. Thank you for not playing my summer car tonight. <laughs> a few times, have a good one. Thank you for 42 months, Snuggles. Yeah, that sea is definitely a little bit bouncy than it was. Do you want to grab this? Yeah. Rig component. We're not close enough. Wait, you won't let me pick it up. Do we need a winch? Uh, oh, there's a handle on the side. Look at the handle. Wait, no, come. Let me help you. Where did it go? These handles can be a pain sometimes. Oh, it pulled me in. <laughs> Do you have to hold E on it or just toggle E just on press it? Just press it. Dude, that weather's getting bad. You can hear the wind. Come on. Maybe it needs two of us. Oh, nice throw. What just happened? What the hell? Know. Oh, you're running on the spot. This is not good. Save it. It's, it's, but, no, it's because I'm pulling. I'm pulling on it, so it's making me run on the spot. Bad things are happening. Yeah, if you get up the ladder, maybe you can help me pull it up over the side. I'm trying. This boat's just really starting to kick off now. This weather's gone real bad. <laughs> yeah, it has. Where's the... Right, uh, can you... See a handle? Nope. You just tap an E on it, then you're not holding E. I'm just yeah, press E once just to hold it, and then that's fine. You don't have to hold it down. There, if you can go right a bit, you might be able to get that handle. I've got E on it. I don't know if it's working. It'll it'll actually have like a orange circle with the E. And yeah, it has. Say, uh, Right. So is that now pulling it? Yeah, if you try and walk backwards, it will pull on it. Because we need to lift it. Yeah, I'm trying to jump at the same time, but it's just so heavy, you just can't get any height on it. Yeah, we need like a loading area on the boat, don't we? All right, keep what? holding it, and you... I'll try and reposition. Okay, you try and drive forward, and I'll just hold it. <laughs> yeah, that could work. And as long as it don't fall off, we'll be good. Where's that ladder? I'm going slow down. You're going backwards. Yep. Just gonna try and get you as close to that ladder. Oh my it. god! Whoa, you went flying. Yeah, I lifted it over the side, and then it just took me with it. And I don't know where the box is. <laughs> it just threw me. I feel like I've got no power, like, things, stupid amount of weight. That is a very big, heavy thing. It's just, it's just throwing me, like, ten meters. Wow. See if you can get to the ladder, it's just I'm new. trying. Happy anniversary, ladder. There you go, you're on. Oh, it's, oh, it's nearly over. It was nearly on, then. It's on on my screen. Is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can just let go now. Yeah. Don't move, don't move, let me let it go over. I think I've let go. I'm gonna try and accelerate very slowly. Man, that was not easy. Right, let's go. It should be fine. Just get going, otherwise it'll bounce around and tip out. Yeah, I'm just trying to get in here. Yep, standard departure, straight underneath. 
Well, it's this, this is where we've got to take it. We've got to put it back upstairs. Are you kidding me? No. But there is a, um, an elevator that comes down over the side. So if you can run upstairs and... Or I can run upstairs and Return grab it. it onto the elevated level using the crane. Okay, let me try, yeah. to, let me try and find the crane. Now oh I can move God. the boat out of your way. You're going to kill me with the propeller. <laughs> You're stuck. I think you've just hooked it. There you go. Meant to rescue people, not kill our crew. <laughs> it's just such bad weather for this. It really is.